But it is not the drawing. Yeah. Let me engineer. Can you yeah. call them and ask them that you make an appointment with them? They take you to one of the projects. Hey, you guys, how are you doing? They will show you the thing and you will be done in it. So. Uh, this is my second Sunday since I attended this service here. This is St. Uh, Joseph Old Church in uh, Juba. Guess what? Um, I came a bit late. Two things. Um, so despite what the gospel had to say and uh, whatever we were able to learn today, um, something happened on their side. It didn't, it didn't really happen. Um, there was a certain lady. I think she was she was either sponsored by the church or she just took it out of her own um, to visit. You know the Vincentian retreat centers in Kenya, like uh, the one in Fika, and then there is uh, the one that is just a prayer house in Nairobi. So she visited the Vincentian retreat center in Fika for the inner healing meeting and so she was like uh, telling and encouraging the congregants yeah i think that's the one to also take the opportunity to actually visit the place because uh she was like there she said uh she was able to get enriched spiritually blah 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 you know praising the place uh and all that stuff so i was just sitting there and i was like wait v um, C, which one the one which i know is, is, is in kenya so here's my point like most of the time uh, uh, we don't really appreciate what we have until we don't have it anymore because like my sister attends it my cousin attends it um, they go for the retreats but myself i've never actually you know gotten out of the uh, my comfort zone and decided to go for any of those retreats but then here is someone who you know took their time to go all the way from juba to nairobi yeah to attend it i'm like what is life yeah there are, you know opportunities that are not tapped. Um, the only one, but I've gone to the intention uh, prayer house, the one in uh, Lovington, I've said, yeah, that's what I've got, but the retreat center I haven't. So, it just reminded me of how uh, most of the time we have opportunities that we don't tap to. And then the second thing is what I was able to make a new friend. So, I was just sitting here. So, today I told you I, was, I came late, so I was seated at the, at the back of the church. And, uh, I was seated here after that. So, I a certain Indian guy came and sat close to me because whoever was sitting next to me had already left, it was after service, and so he was like, Hi, um, I can't continue. I'm so sorry, I got a call. So I was saying I was sitting here after service, and then a certain Indian guy came and then he was like, Um, okay this is my second sunday in this place so i'm also basically still new so he was like what time does service begin in this church and then i was like well at least i know that one i told him uh 9 30 because yesterday uh, i mean like the previous sunday when i came of course i had the same uh question because i've been in juba for like six months already and i hadn't attended any mass service until last sunday so i want to you see those people who uh, sell the rosaries the results and anything Thing. the charts and uh, the church calendars and stuff so i want to ask one of them um what service how many services are there in this church what time does it begin so he was able to tell me so of course when he asked me what time must begin so i was able to tell him it's at nine so first of all i was like okay um, it's not like i've not met uh, people who because you see this guy is indian so i was like he's indian but how is he catholic but then it's just a religion yeah uh indian is is is, is it right so what so it was first of all intriguing because he's indian and he's catholic i felt hmm, that's really interesting so you know the reason he gave why he also came to this church because i was like is it your first time here as well and uh have you been attending mass elsewhere and then he was telling me yeah he attends a certain mass some other place i don't know about and so when i was asking him how comes he came here today he told me his friends also left him he woke up late his friends left him and so he was 
was not able to attend the church service wherever they go to and then he was like um, okay uh, so I told him so that means next Sunday you won't come here and then he was like now that you'll be coming here I'll also come you know like some kind of an accountability partner to let people and then we could come to meet uh, a church but then I I, 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 I I you know asking him how long he's been here he's been here way longer and he was even able to tell me some of the the surrounding places around here that have existed or didn't exist like he's been around it's only that he's not been coming to this church he's been going to another one but guess what he told me um he said that uh, we shall uh, go to another church we shall be going to churches uh, together just to see because even me uh, today I wasn't even come to this I wasn't to come to this church I wanted to go to my neighboring church at home but then because I woke up later I was like uh, perhaps uh, the best idea is just to go to a church that I'm used to so that I don't miss everything at all at all because I was here at uh, 10 and mass here begins at 9 30 so I was like it's better because at least I know how routine works and like going to another new church and you know what you don't know what happens there so that's why I said it again I met a new friend and I learned something new isn't that interesting yeah so basically that is what I have I hope you have a blessed Sunday and I'll see you in my next video bye bye